What's up, y'all? It's me. About to finish off a little bit of this orange mango juice. Just a cinnamon cup today. Okay. Cheers. Today's video is going to be about the word black, specifically as it pertains to black metal and black magic. Now, you may be familiar with a thing called white supremacy. I believe I've uncovered another strain of it called light supremacy. You may or may not have noticed that in most Hollywood films and most major productions, the villains or the bad guys will wear black, maybe even with a little bit of red, right? I'm sure you can think of a hundred movies where the villains wear black. Now, it doesn't take a genius to recognize that this is connected to a form of racism, definitely. But I won't specifically be talking about that most of the time but I'll have to mention it because it would be negligent not to, right? It's all connected. So everybody's a little different. So all I can do is talk about what it means to me and how I've studied it and I've come to understand it. But I feel like I've got a pretty deep understanding of it compared to most people I talk to who don't know what the fuck they're talking about, right? So I'll also connect it to Satanism and the worship of Satan. Most people also don't understand that. First of all, the word Satan is a variation of the planet Saturn. If you look at it, Saturn is associated with the color black and it's connected with death and a lot of belief systems. So what I believe Satanism is, is Saturnism, the worship of the planet Saturn, as well as the other 10 spheres in our solar system, right? Saturn is one of the planets. It is one real planet that exists. You can see it in the sky. It's a form of nature worship. Some people worship just Saturn. Some people worship all of nature. I put myself under the bucket of animism. So I feel like everything is alive. All of nature. Everything is divine. Animals are not below humans. Planets are not above humans. There's a more like a round table. It's more like a, a totem circle. If you get what I mean. Somebody's above, somebody's below. But based on hermetic belief from the Emerald Tablet of Toth, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, right? Hermes, Trismegistus, the three times master. As above, so below. You follow that logic as left, so right. It's all equivalent. That means equivalence, right? There's a reflection amongst everything. The outside of the mirror reflects the inside of the mirror. But I'll get back on topic. First, I'll start with black magic, because I believe that is the origin of the word black in black metal. Black magic was what was considered by the regime to be forbidden magic. Not allowed magic. Every single belief system except for theirs, which is why the word pagan actually means non-Christian, if you dig into it. But that's a whole other thing. So technically, Satanism is going to be every single religion outside of a couple dominant religions that rule the world. If you don't believe this, check out what calendar you have to adhere to. It's called the Gregorian calendar, made by a pope named Gregory. Right? Why are you on a pope's calendar? Because it's the correct and only real one? I don't think so. But you'll have to dig into that. If you study Genghis Khan, if you study a lot of the conquerors, when you're building an empire, one way that you need to create an index and universality is you put everybody on the same calendar, on the same language, on the same time system, so that your empire can communicate and trade with itself more easily. And you can track it all so that you can collect taxes from everybody as the emperor. Right? But anyway, black magic, black metal. So somewhere along the lines, light was considered to be good, dark was considered to be bad. Now, I believe this has to do with a group of cowardly humans who are truly afraid of the dark. If you're afraid of the dark, you just, 
the dark is just evil, right? If you can't see it, if you don't have light to navigate it, if you can't confirm what it is, it seems to be evil. But this doesn't add up when plenty of evil exists within the light as well. If evil and good exist in the light, evil and good both must exist in the dark. Logically speaking. But back to black magic and black metal. There's a group of Satanists I notice who I call confused Christians, right? If you believe in the Bible and you believe that Satan is the devil and you choose to worship this entity, you are a devil worshiper. You are not a Satanist. You believe in Jesus, you believe in Jehovah, and you choose to worship what they call evil, right? That is not the same thing as rejecting the teachings. It's not at all. So I noticed within black metal, there's the same thing. If you think the word black equals evil, and you harbor some type of fear, because that's where it comes from, which then morphs into hatred of blackness or darkness, that also has to do with some type of seed of racism that has been planted into you. Because don't tell me you hate the color black on a robe and all of a sudden you love the color black when it's on skin, right? That's a whole different thing though. But it's all connected. So black metal, for example. If you translate the word black, the word black to forbidden metal, that's pretty accurate. Because anytime you try to truly rep black metal, you'll notice that you're a little bit persecuted. You're a little bit excluded. Kind of like a, a much lighter, diluted form of the old witch and warlock burnings. You won't really be accepted. There's been jobs that I've been fired from, which are certainly counts as religious discrimination, but they played the game legally, so there wasn't anything I could do about it. And I've tried to publish books on Amazon that are not allowed to be published, purely because of the fact that they are satanic, right? Because a lot of people are afraid of it and they don't like it. They see it as anti-Christian. But if I go around and tell you that two plus two equals five, and you say, no, it doesn't, shouldn't that just be freedom of speech? The fact that you're right is a whole nother detail, but we don't need to get into that now. I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm here to educate, right? If you want to believe in Jesus, you go right ahead. I will not try to stop you. What I, th I think is a bit unfortunate is I face a lot of resistance with what I like to believe and practice. But that's why I make it black metal, right? And I noticed that in the black metal world, which is largely male, no disrespect to black metal females, and is largely white, no disrespect to non-white black metal fans, there's this prevalent belief that black equals evil and everybody's having a lot of fun being evil together worshiping evil talking about evil but the people i notice that go deep very 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 deep that have a an understanding beyond most people which usually take satanism and end up somewhere like animism shamanism paganism it's usually taken somewhere else because satanism is seen as a bit immature that's the same thing. If you are a Hindu, unfortunately, in the eyes of the church, you are a Satanist. Because every single non-Judeo-Christian entity is considered the outside, right? Forbidden magic. Demonic. Right? Every single god of every other religion is looked at like a demon or a Satan. If you go through the, the pantheon, you'll notice there isn't a single female archangel there isn't a single female powerful angel right matthew mark luke john none of these are female names so there's a bit of negligence in the fact that that is left out right but that's also reflected in the groups of people who choose to worship this and do this in the catholic church there is not a female priest there has never been a female pope right i'm just speaking the truth but um Back on topic, there's a lot of confused people who think that black equals evil, and then they try to have fun with that. And if that's where you start, like an Anton LaVey type, where you say, well, if you want to call me the devil, fine, I'll be your devil. That's kind of like a, a bellying up. That's kind of like a surrendering, where 
a satanic person like me would definitely reject the Richard Ramirez's and all the people who use Satanism to commit and perform evil. You know, there was a series of church burnings in Norway a long time ago, the year I was born, 1993. Maybe that's a coincidence. Most people look at that as an act of attack, as an act of devious arson. But if you dig into why the people did that, their pagan temples were burnt first. So it was actually an act of retaliation. Most people don't want to hear this or believe it. Maybe my reach will get tanked, who knows. But it's a very true thing. So I believe it. But if you're curious what black metal means to me or black magic means to me, these are the things that people have been forbidden to practice. Like the forbidden section of the library in Harry Potter, where all the good stuff happened to be. You notice he would have never been able to do what he did unless he got some books out of there. Very important. But um, if you're curious, that's what black metal and black magic mean to me. And I truly believe that a lot of this media is propaganda in favor of what could be called light supremacy. You know, I want to quote a Kendrick Lamar lyric. Kendrick has a song called High Power off of his album called High Power. And he says, who says a black man is in the Illuminati? Last time I checked, that was the biggest racist party. So what I would ask you is if you are, and you can, you can argue that if you want. That's, I'm just quoting him. But if you find yourself a part of black metal, a part of black magic, and you're having fun participating in evil or being racist or all these things, I would ask you this. Why not just go become a Catholic priest? You'll make more money, you'll have more friends, you'll be more accepted, and you won't be living as much of a lie. Because not only do you still believe in them, you are reinforcing what they are telling people about us being evil. A true black magician follows the laws of man. He's able to do that. A true black mage is able to navigate the world without becoming evil truly you know go around hurting people robbing them stealing from them there's no need to if you actually have access to magic the only person that would rob another person is a person whose wealth spells are failing right if you can't summon wealth you'll have to go take it from somebody if you can't summon power you'll have to go take it from somebody so all of the racism and Nazism and things that you'll find within black metal or even black magic is not only confused, it doesn't work if you dig into it. Somebody like Hitler was very strongly allied with the Pope. One of his officers tried to get into the occult and perform black magic, and his work clearly failed because they lost the war. So if nobody wants to see that or agree with that, that's fine. If I'm offending a lot of people, Fine. I'm not talking about people who use the symbology and the imagery somewhere like in prison gangs and things like that. that's separate. Do it. You know, I'm not a part of that. I can't speak on it. I'm talking about the civilian world, the art world, the magic world and the music world. You know what I mean? And there's a group of people that are very confused. If you think black equals evil, take the robe off and go put a white robe on. That's my opinion. Prometheus out.